Good evening. My name is Max Price. I'm the Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Town, and it's a great pleasure to welcome all of you to the university. I want to start off by uh, greeting our Muslim colleagues and our Jewish colleagues who tonight celebrate Eid Mubarak and Rosh Hashanah. Uh, we have received lots of comments and critical comments about the fact that we had to stage this lecture on, an important, uh, on a night that was important religiously to many of our students and staff, and we apologize for that. Uh, our options were limited. We make an attempt to have the lecture very close to the anniversary of the death of Steve Biko. Uh, that, is on, that was on the 12th of September. We tried to have it within a few days of that, and we have to fit it, of course, in with our guest speakers. So. Um, with that, I ask your apology, but also want to take the opportunity to wish um, our colleagues uh, a healthy and successful year ahead. The Steve Biko lecture, as you know, this is the 11th lecture, is particularly important to UCT. It should be important to the whole country. But why would, be, why would a university celebrate a lecture in the name of Steve Biko? And I think, essentially, there are three areas, three reasons why we celebrate Steve Biko's life and celebrate the individual and why it is so appropriate to commemorate his life and his death with a, an eponymous lecture of this nature, this annual lecture. And the first is to celebrate his courage as a political activist and his leadership. The second is to celebrate someone who was an intellectual whose courage was not simply on the battleground, it was in the, in the battleground of ideas. It was through his writings, and his greatest contribution, I think many would agree, was through the intellectual contribution he made to the struggle, to the ideas of black consciousness, to the creation of, of pride and of confidence uh, amongst the oppressed, and also the way in which his interventions affected the white communities, communities who were on the left and saw themselves in the same struggle, but came to understand their role very differently as a result of his interventions. And so a university, it's appropriate for a university to celebrate the life of a radical intellectual, of a revolutionary intellectual. And the third is because he played his role as an intellectual uh, also on the, in the field of politics. And he said, and he urged, uh, people who have the luxury to think, people who have the luxury to write, people who work in universities and study, and in particular, students. Students who have the opportunity as part of student movements while they are in university, the opportunity to um, take risks, to be the vanguard of change, to push change. Um, and so it's the particular role of the university in the public arena in producing public intellectuals and intervening in the political arena uh, that he was also urging us to do. And all of those things, I think, are characteristics of virtues which the University of Cape Town would like to embody in its own value system in the values of its students and of its staff. And so we are very proud that when this um, lecture series was initiated, some, uh, when it was conceptualized some 12 years ago, that the University of Cape Town was chosen by the Steve Biko Foundation to be the partner. And we have been fortunate in being able to attract, year in and year out, brilliant speakers who exemplify those three uh, virtues. And we have our speaker tonight, again, someone who exemplifies bringing together those virtues of courage, of intellect, and of using the space for uh, political agendas as well. I will say more in introducing Alice Walker uh, in a few minutes, but first I would like to introduce and invite to the stage uh, my colleague, Mr. Nkosinati Biko, who is the um, head, the director of the Steve Biko Foundation, to welcome you and to address you. <laughs> 